South Park. South Park is on uh, Comedy Central channel here. Uh, and it's at night. So sometimes I wake up at night. I mean, I always wake up at night. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, always wake up. But sometimes I watch uh, South Park. <laughs> And I happen to uh, to come across some um, episodes with Trump. So Trump has a, the object of uh, satire. <laughs> Troll there is that because he is such a ridiculous, preposterous, impossible, absurd, incredible, abject. <laughs> Individual man, <laughs> how how do you do this? What what's the solution? How? <laughs> most of the things he does says uh, <laughs> daily. If you put them in a script, uh, audiences will say it's a problem which. I mentioned before, uh, it's, uh, it's in uh, an uh, stupendous book on films. Indeed, you should um, stop watching this and look for that. Adventures in the Screen Trade, William Goldman, um, the author of excellent scripts. Two of them won the, the Oscar. Yeah, without the process. But Butch Cassidy and the Sons King, that's his fault. And all the presidents met. So in this book, Adventures in the Screen Train, he writes so many things that are breathtaking, uh, inspiring, interesting. Ritika Dem. There's a, there's a mischievous fellow on the board doing wrong things. Um, and so there's so much you, you can read, must read if you can, if you're interested in films. Um, but then at one point he, he talks about, for instance, this um, story. He says, well, okay, imagine what, the, what the audiences would say if they see on the screen in a theatre this man jumping over a fence to this castle, palace, um, going through corridors, um, avoiding the many, many guards you have there, and reaching this all powerful woman, facing her alone. And I say, ah, come on, that's not, I don't believe that. Well, it happened. This Nobody <laughs> jumped the fence, somehow went through some doors huh? and met face to face with the queen. That's included in the crown in the previous series, one of the seasons. <laughs> but, I mean, so that's, and then there's another example from the Second World War, something, some attack, impossible attack, and then another. I'm sorry, but you wouldn't believe them, sorry. People wouldn't do that. Only they did. So you have the problem. People <coughs> have things that happen that are unbelievable. That's what happens with this idiot, I think. This kind of going and becoming. And then again. No way. But, well, some way. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, that, that's, I, I think, the problem with putting him in, in South Park, in any comedy, in anything. Uh, we were talking in the summer, so it's a lot with when they put him in. Well, how do you put him? Because he's already on, on, on the road with a, with a non-ending perpetual show. Now, with a, in court, he's, he's, he's storming out. He's, he has a gag order to stop talking about that. That's about... Officials of the court and, and witnesses, which is what every, 
everybody has to respect the rules. Everybody is equal under the law. Well, turns out, for them it's not. So, again, it's often, most of them, an absurd. An absurd show, an absurd humor, but there it is.